How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good to good to have you here today. Yes, it's good to have you here. Um, so today you are going to be presenting your analysis, you told me. And so it's just going to be just walk through it, just say kind of what you did. And then it depends on the question. If it's an analytical question, just say the answer at the end. If it's a graphing question, just show the graph at the end. And I did want to mention, I kind of um, in one of your graphs for practice two, I think it was the first one, I changed... Um, the kind to be bar so then you can have kind of like a variety to show so it's going to be a bar graph but then the others i left them as they were like line graphs okay okay all right so you can present your screen if you want i'm gonna move uh computers okay we'll wait then Do I start now? Oh. <clears throat> yes, you can start now. <clears throat> yeah, but I think there is a an echo. I don't know if you can fix that before you start. I just yeah, turned off the volume. Yeah, now I can hear you. So for practice one, I imported pandas as pd and i read the data set and then i renamed the column from name to product so then i dropped the following columns uh I also capitalized the letter of each column, and I used the string capitalize method. Good job. Then I used df.head. For the products under the Algonus brand that were featured on Sephora's website, the answer I got was 52. And the percentage of products that fall under fell under the Algonus brand were 0.56%. The brand that showed up, the brands that showed up the most on Sephora's website was Sephora Collection, which showed up 496 times. The brands that I got that showed up the least on Sephora's website were BKR, Jillian Dempsey, Tokyo Milk, Contour, Too Cool for School, Lunar Beauty, Beauty Flora and Bast, High Beauty, Coco, Coco Floss, Google Beach Waver, MD Solar Sciences, Shower Cap, Cellu Cup, Wishful, DL.MD, Taste Beauty, uh, and Ita Libre de Orange. And I got that by using the ascending equals true method. Each of these showed up once. The percentage of products that fell under the Sephora brand were 5%. And I got that by using the normalize equals true method. 
The top five brands that showed up the most on Sephora's website were Sephora Collection, Clinique, Tarte, Tom Ford, and Dior. I used Dot Head 5, and that's how I got the answer. Uh, for making a bar graph displaying the top five brands featured and how many times they're featured on the website, I... Uh, I used this method and then I graphed it. And then I import it again. For what is the average rating of all products? I got 3.9% of the ratings. Then I graphed the ratings of the first 20 products and I got all this. For how many products that were priced under their value price, I got 549 products. And for practice two, I had to graph the entire data set in terms of calories. So I just used df.calories to get the whole calorie set. And this is the graph I got. Then I had to graph the cereals that have less than 100 calories. And I had to create a condition that were less of cereals that were less than 100 calories. And and I got this uh, graph. I created a condition to get it, and this is what I got. I had to graph the ratings of the cereals that have less than 100 calories as well. And I, the graphs are quite big. Um, so then I had to graph the cereals that have more than 100 calories. And I got this graph. I also had to graph the ratings of the cereals that have more than 100 calories. Um, this is what I got. I had to graph the series that have a rating higher than 60. And then I created my own plot and I changed the color to olive. Yeah, that's the end. Wow, Candida, you did really well. I loved Thank it. You. Thank you so much. I loved how you incorporated making conditions and you told us about them. I love how you explored a little bit with the colors. I remember that wasn't even like something that was mandatory and I like briefly mentioned it. It was nice to know that you caught that um, and I really loved it. Also, by the way, I know that the graphs are too big. Um, the way you fix that is like fig size. I'm pretty sure you use that parameter. That's why they're big. I told you to make them big because um, there were a lot of like um, like, if you were to make them small, there were a lot of parameters and a lot of X values, and it would have just been too constricted. But if that's a problem, you can just go ahead and reduce that. But that was just for presenting, so we can kind of see the graph better. Um, you can also save the images and then kind of present them like that. Um, but other than that, that was amazing. It was great. I loved how you finished everything, and it was just so nice, and everything was completely correct. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All right. So um, I am going to send you a letter um, at about like, I don't know, at 12, around 12. It's going to have um, a mailing list. So when you want to know about any of our future programs, you can just put in your information and we will email you when details come out. 
We also have a web development program. So if you liked WAVE, we're going to do a similar program um, for web development. It's going to be completely introductory. Um, I know, hold on. So it's basically HTML and a little bit of CSS and JavaScript. And so again, it's introductory, no experience needed. And it's going to be exactly like this. It's a two week, one week um, synchronous, second week asynchronous. And in that case, you're going to be making a website. Um, but that's if you're interested. Um, I did add an RSVP form for that. If you want to be informed when more details come out, you can just still put your name in. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to, when it comes out, you don't have to join. Um, I also mentioned that we're going to host workshops. They're going to be like one day workshops. It's not going to be any programs. It's just 40 minutes to like an hour and they're going to be snippets from wave. So if you ever feel like you have, um, you need a refresher, like at the end of the summer, we're going to be hosting those workshops. So we'll I'll let you know if you sign up for a mailing list, um, your certificate, I'm going to email to you along with that letter. And I also added a few resources if you want to continue to explore pandas. Okay. Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, no problem. Um, Janelle, do you have anything to say? Um, no, um, no, but thank you for joining, Candida, and I hope that you learned and um, have fun with this. It was good meeting you. Yes, it was great meeting you. Do you have any questions, Candida, before we go? I don't have any questions. Okay, um, I hope to see you again one day. Thank you again. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Okay, that was good. That's good. All right, so I'm going to send her the letter around 12. Um, so 